In Cavalry 1.2, we've added the ability to load and save workspaces. This means you can arrange windows how you'd like and then save that workspace for retrieval later. To load and save workspaces, head to the Windows menu. The second option down will save a workspace to the Workspaces folder. To load a saved workspace, head to the Workspaces menu. Any folder you put in the Workspaces folder will appear as a submenu here. You can also reset to the default workspace by using the Reset to Default Workspace menu item. Don't worry, using this option will not overwrite workspaces you've saved to a file. Another thing we've added is the ability to quickly switch into a focus mode where just the viewport is shown. You can enter this mode with the shortcut Control tab on both macOS and Windows. Use the same shortcut to come out of this mode. You can now also set the viewport quality. To do this, head to the viewport settings cog in the bottom right of the viewport. Or go to the view menu's viewport quality submenu. Setting this to draft will disable all anti-aliasing and image filtering in your scene. In addition to this, setting viewport quality to minimal will disable all shaders and filters, giving the maximum possible playback speed. These options are also available when rendering. When right-clicking on a layer in the scene window, you can now add notes. This will allow you to write markdown notes to help document your scene for yourself or others. Once notes have been written, they will appear as tooltips in the scene window when you hover over a layer's row. To edit notes, use the Notes button on the right of the layer's row. You can now edit more primitive attributes directly in the viewport, such as corner rounding on a rectangle, or the endpoint positions of a capsule. Finally for this video, you can now use environment variables in render file names. This is done to help Cavalry better fit in with the pipelines of larger studios. To do this, open the render manager and enter some angle brackets in the file name. Inside the angle brackets, type env colon with a capital E. Then put the name of the environment variable after the colon. For example, I can put user in here, and you can now see that my username has become part of the file name below.